In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to, to set up SMS one-time password with Sign Butler. If you need to have SMS one-time password, make sure to connect to your uh, PDF Butler account executive to enable SMS one-time passwords. In Salesforce, you will have to go to the uh, global value set called Sign Method. And in this global value set, you have to uh, activate the SMS OTP uh, item in this list. If it's not activated, it's in uh, the list of the uh, inactive ones. You can just click the, uh, the activate button and then it will be active. Once active, you will be able to see this uh, SMS OTP option in the overview of the uh, sign signature methods for your stakeholder. So if I select the role signer, I select the SMS OTP, then of course, also the mobile number becomes available. So an SMS needs a mobile number. This is very important. The mobile number has to be formatted correctly so it can be uh, identified as an international mobile number. So let's take a look at how I have set up my number here. So this is my telephone number. And in this number, you can see that it starts with plus 32. And that indicates the, uh, the country that the SMS has to be sent to. Okay. This is a correct setup of my number. Now I have configured to use my uh, the uh, mobile number of the owner of our opportunity and the uh, configuration. That's all that I need to get this done. The next step is that we need a pack and an actionable. Yeah? And the actionable has to link to our SMS OTP sign request template. Now we can actually just test our SMS. I'm going to go to an uh, opportunity. That's where my, uh, that's my, my, my process starts. Can be an account, can be an opportunity, a contract, any kind of uh, custom uh, object or standard object. And I'm going to launch the, uh, the sign request. So when this is launched, the, uh, the, the document has been sent out and you can already see it's already sent out for signing. Let's take a look at all the sign requests that I have. I have now indeed one pending and I have received an email. Uh, that my item, that my sign request is pending and that I have to go and sign it. So from my email, I can now go and sign my document. In the document, as always, I will have to scroll to the end of the document. I will have, this has some forms. So I also have to set the, uh, the information in the form. Uh, this is as a mess test. So, uh, and then I can say I have read everything and go for the signing. In this case, I have only requested as a mess. So now I have to say, send me an SMS message. The SMS message already arrived on my phone. The SMS is here, the number is here. That's a one-time number, so it can only be used one time. And now if I sign my document, it will actually validate this number to the one that was generated to send out. And everything is now correctly signed. Let's take a look at my sign request in Salesforce. It's now indi indicating that it's finished, everything is done, and I see that the document was signed via SMS OTP. So let's take a look at the document. The document will also have the overview of the uh, signing method. Let's take a look at the detail. And you will see here that it was sent to the number with these digits ending at the end. And this was the OTP that was actually used and when it was signed.